Hey guys, what's up? Um, I know it's been a while since I've made a video. I've just uh, been busy with things, uh, schoolwork and everything. Um, and um, I just want to let you know that I will be making updates to those uh, traffic light videos I did. So for those of you who like it, so just be patient and I'll get to them, alright? So um, what we're going to do today is um, we have new uplights finally for the atrium. And I thought I'd show them to you. Um, I actually gave, my parents wanted to get rid of the old ones. So um, instead of um, putting, instead of them going into the trash, I actually saved them and gave them to Jay. Um, he has a video on on them. I'll throw a link in the video description to his video so you can check him out and um, you can see you know how they used what they used to look like and you can see that they're being put to good use again. So anyway, with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and um, get to ours. So you can see here. This is what they look like. They are adjustable uplights um, made by ProTrack. Never heard of them before, but maybe some other people know about them. Um, there's apparently four colors you can get them in. You can get them in brushed steel, which is the one we have. And you can also get them in, uh, that's white. You can get them in black. You can get them in uh, almond. It looks a little bit different. Uh, I don't know how well it's going to come out in the video, but it looks a little bit different from uh, almond. Uh, a white, rather, sorry. So... You can see the differences here. <clears throat> um, this We actually have two. The second one's currently in the box right now. I just wanted to kind of show you both of them side to side. It's a pretty good finish. Um, it feels like it has maybe like a minor clear coat over it because it feels kind of smooth. You can't feel the, um, I think it's called the grains too much. I, I think I said that correctly. And um, I tighten these so, you know, the light points straight up because that's how we um, have the atrium set up usually. And the light holds in place pretty well. What I do like about these actually is that they have a nice solid base here. And they're pretty good and stable. They're pretty hard to knock over compared to the, um, what do you call it, compared to the previous ones that we had. And the um, power cords right here, I think it's 7 feet, I think it had said. Um, I think it says in the box, let me see. Um... Well, it says it's um, 8 inches high, 4 inches wide. Um, I thought it had... Eh, maybe it doesn't. I, I'm pretty sure it's 7 feet. Anyway, <clears throat> um, here's the inside. The inside's white regardless. Um, you can see it uses a standard base uh, light bulb. And um, what we're going to be... We're going to be using... Um, I forgot to bring it downstairs, but I'll show them to you later. Um, we're we're going to be using 100-watt um, 100, equivalent uh, bright white CFLs. And um, I'll show those to you once they once they're all set up upstairs. Um, has a has a turn switch, which works very well. And um, I wanted to show you and uh, no hold on yeah I wanted to show you um, the box inside too because I want you to see how how well they actually package them. I was pretty impressed to see it. So let's go ahead and open this one. Lift it up. Um, attached here is like a anchor and screw if you're going to put it on drywall or something. But we're not going to do. It. We're just we're not going to do that. We're just going to put it on the floor. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, inside, you can see that they put it in plastic, which I was happy to see. Let's lift it up. And oh, you know what? Maybe on the maybe on the bag itself it tells you where it's made, and it looks like it's sticking to the tape. There we go. <laughs> Save the box from falling off. And here's the two of them. Take it out. Just bear with me here while I... Uh, I've got to use both hands for this. There we go. Let's see. Anything on the box... Uh, bag here, rather? Hmm. That's, it, it says it's uh, the bag's recyclable, but that doesn't say much about where these are made. Uh, doesn't say. Alright, well, whatever. So, like I said, I'm just going to assume that, that, that they're made in China. <laughs> Um, if anyone knows different, just let me know. Take the uh, cord out. And again, same thing. Black inside here. White inside where the bulb goes. And, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, and this one's not screwed in, so you can see how they, um, how they uh, go like this. Uh, oh, look at this. This space looks a little crooked. Do you see that? I could probably fix that. I'm sure it won't take uh, much to fix. Uh, this one's a little bit better, but, yeah, look at that. Maybe in a follow-up video, I'll take care of that. But anyway, um, here they are. It's still very stable, though, even with that. It's very, I don't feel loose or anything, so that's good. Um, so we're going to have these set up a little bit differently from the old ones. And what I mean by that is, the old ones were, we had one timer plugged into an outlet, an extension cord coming out, and then 
uh, each one was plugged into the extension cord. But uh, I'm actually gonna <clears throat> on both sides of the atrium window. There's actually an outlet, and we're gonna do it. We're gonna do one timer for each one this time because my mom didn't like the extension cord, you know, going across the floor and everything like that, and all the wires. And I, I can see, I can see where, she, where where she's going with that. So I mean, um, I'll see if I can. And as far as I know, the timers I'm gonna use are identical. So I'll try to, you know, synch synchronize. Uh, I think that's the word. Synchronize them up as best I can. Um, so that way they can come on and go off just about at the same time, as close as I can make it, so. Uh, anyway guys, here they are, and then, um, we'll go upstairs and we'll have them all set up. Actually guys, um, just before I uh, go upstairs, here's the, um, CFL bulbs I was telling you about. Um, Eco Smart, you know, um, these are definitely made in China, you know, things like that. I think it even says on the back here. Let me just see. Uh, yep, right there. Made in China. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, I can say this, though. These bulbs have actually been quite good to us. I mean, we've used them in a few fixtures here that, you know, don't short cycle. I, I've always heard, though, that's bad for any kind of fluorescent bulb. Um, and these, these have done well for us. So, I know I have one in my headboard lamp in my room for a couple to a few years now, and it still works. So... You know, it's the best you can get. Um, as far as I know, you can still get these, you know, ever since the LEDs rolled out. Uh, you, you can still get these, but um, the packaging is different now. I think it's like standard blue cardboard box now instead of the clear plastic, whatever. And bright white, which is like, you know, the very white light. Not like the salt, not like the uh, yellowish, pinkish, whatever color it, it gives you now. So, uh, so this is what we're going to use inside them. And uh, we'll go ahead and get a video of these uh, all set up. All right, guys, and uh, here we go. Um, atrium window, probably familiar with that now. Um, you can see the um, the uh, lights are in place now, and you can see each one is connected to its own timer. Uh, you can see on each side. Um, this will this will change time as you know the daylight length changes. But uh, right now, I have it set on. They go on at seven and shut off at one in the morning. That's the, that's the time they've always been. So we got this one hooked up here. And we got this one hooked up over here as well. So I got it as close as I could. So you know, hopefully, um, hopefully there won't be too much of a time difference for when they um, for when they turn on. Uh, there's also a slight change in plans. Um, I actually put the I put the um, what do you call it? I put the 75 watt equivalent uh, bulbs in there because um, the 100 watt ones were actually kind of a little too big. They were kind of going through the top of the light and they, they weren't as flat as these are for lack of a better term. So I went down to those and if I remember correctly, the old lights had 75 watt equivalents so it would be the same uh, light source, whatever. So then um, I guess tonight as um, once it gets dark out, it's uh, looking good out there, warming up finally. Um, once that happens, um, I'll get another video of these, and we'll see how well they uh, light up the uh, living room or atrium, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, we'll see you there. Alright guys, well here we go. It is now nighttime, and um, all the uh, everything's lit up. You can see a lady going over there, and uh, there's Bella on top of the chair. Hey Bella. <laughs> um... And uh, as you can see, uh, these lights are really bright. I mean, they're, uh, they seem brighter than the old ones even, I think because they stick up a little bit more. I, uh, I may actually consider uh, putting the 60 watt equivalent ones in if they're gonna be this bright because, um, well, you know, I'll see. If my parents think they're too bright, I'll, I'll put them down to the 60 watt equivalent ones. And if not, we'll just keep them the way it is. But it lights up the room really well, as you can see. Everything's shining off the wall. I'm sure the window looks really nice from outside. Um, so, um, I was upstairs doing work at the time, so I don't exactly know when each one turned on, but I'm sure they were pretty close. If you remember, I tried to get them as close as I could. And if one, um, and I have checked, I do have both pegs in the, set in the exact same time, so if one turns on a little bit later than the other, I can always advance the timer by like one or two clicks or something to try to get a little bit closer. Um... And one thing that is kind of nice is, uh, there's Bella again. One thing that is kind of nice is, um... Let me get over to this one. You can kind of see that there's some vent holes on the bottom here. That's strictly what they're meant for, but um, they kind of leave, leave like a little light pattern on them and uh, kind of light up the bottoms, which are kind of nice. And um, I'll see if the camera will readjust to the light. You can see it, the uh, 75 watt equivalent. And again, it's a, it's a bright white, so I really like that better because it gives the white light, 
the white white light. You know what I, you know what I mean. And what's up, Bella? <laughs> and um, and again, it lights up really well. Um, it doesn't look so dark here anymore. Um, and yeah, not much else to say. It's a uh, it's a little bit after, it's like just after 8 o'clock in the evening right now, and um, there's a little bit of daylight outside. I'm kind of nice to see. And anyway, there you go, guys. Um, so far, they're doing very well. I mean, you know, considering all they got to do is turn a light bulb on and off, I can't imagine that much could break down. You never know, right? But I'm sure they'll be okay. <laughs> but they're doing very well. They light up the room greatly, and it's nice to um, have some light here again. It doesn't look so uh, spooky here, and Belle is looking at something at the top of the... Uh, window. I don't know what, maybe she sees a reflection or something. <laughs> Alright guys, but there you go. Uh, definitely, so far they're a good product and uh, and they're pretty sturdy. And oh yeah, by the way, um, I did fix that one light. Remember I told you the stand was kind of bent on the base? I just bent it back very carefully and it looks beautiful. Like that's how it originally came. So uh, anyway guys, there you have it. They're, they look really great and uh, good to have. So and glad I was able, finally able to get a video to you guys again. I know it's been quite a while. So anyway, guys, there you have it. And here's Marco. So um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I hope you enjoyed. Take care.